Ui, ui, ui. I've let uh, I've let the day get a head start on me. <laughs> I wasn't really asleep for like the last hour and a bit. Just been sort of procrastinating watching this uh, weather. Man, it was howling last night. Brought some stuff in just to, you know, so I could muck around in here for a bit. Working well, the hoochie, no insects in here, so that's uh, a success story. But uh, the wind, look, oh, it's starting to, oh, okay, the sky is actually clearing now. Because this morning I woke up, it almost looked like it was about to rain, but the wind has been howling all night. Huge gusts sweeping over the ocean. I guess we better get out here. We'll get out. I guess I've got to get out of his sleeping bag. <laughs> Ooh, the toe's a little sore. Cut my toe on the uh, oyster last night. On the oyster rocks. <laughs> but it's going to be okay. I peeked out a few times before. And I was like, oh man, this is, looks even worse than yesterday. There's definitely a steady breeze. And the gusts that were coming over last night, you could hear it just whistling. And it'd sweep over. But... It looks like we're actually going to get some blue sky once that's sun. It's got a weird haze over it, but hopefully it'll push back and clear up a little bit for at least a while. If it's got some blue sky, I'll be <laughs> pretty happy. Tide's all the way out now, but it came all the way up to where the boat is. I pulled the boat just a little higher than where the tide line was last night. But the tides are going to get smaller from this point on. So at, at high tide, it's nice because you can work in here and around that corner and the water's typically a bit clearer. But at low tide, what I can do is, this reef goes out quite a ways, so it actually makes it a lot shallower, so I can get out quite a bit further on some of the further out parts of the reef and uh, still feel like I'm in nice, uh, nice comfortable water. Because obviously it's not the best idea to be diving um, by yourself all the time. So I like to stay well and truly within my comfort zone, so I don't go too deep on these things unless I've got a buddy with me or something like that. So if you're ever doing this stuff, yeah, try and go with a buddy. But if you're doing the solo thing, stay well, well, well within your comfort zone and, you know, don't push it because it's not worth it. I want to go home to my family. <laughs> so I wanted to go for a squid fish in the morning, but the wind was just pushing so hard that I sort of ditched the idea. But it sort of put me in a position now where I'm going to I'm gonna have to go catch some breakfast. Like that oyster pasta was nice, but it's sort of a <laughs> stopgap solution. It wasn't uh, the plan and it wasn't quite... Well, it actually was quite fancy in the end, but... It wasn't quite, you know, what I quite like the crayfish pasta. So hopefully we'll try and find a cray this morning. Maybe we'll have a cup of tea and uh, think about it. Let that sun just get a little higher over the island and start to sort of hit the ocean here. But there is thicker cloud cover here that's sort of stopping it, I think. So we'll give it a little bit of time. It's only maybe six, quarter past six now, which is pretty late for me. I usually get up a lot earlier. I'm going to leave my cup. On the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, boat. Good to see you still here. There's water in there. Yeah, just a little bit of sun. I think we'll make it all that much more inviting. Get a bit of sun on the reef. Maybe we'll move this onto its side. Turn this this way. Yeah, it really is windy. We're protected by the island. <laughs> it's windier than yesterday, I'd say. Ah, oh, that's nice though. Oi. No, let's not drop that. The weather was meant to uh, improve from maybe tomorrow onwards, but uh, I was thinking, geez, I hope it does improve, because if it doesn't, like, I could be stuck here for a while. I guess it's not going to get any warmer in the water, is it? So I should just get in, regardless of whether it's sun or whether it's overcast. Yeah, we'll do that. Breakfast. 
big eating day today. Big eating day. <laughs> Stay confident. Uh, the biggest lobster in, that I was hoping for. I missed a couple of grabs, missed another bigger one, but we've measured him up. We use the, uh, well, this is actually for a southern rock lobster, but uh, the measurements are still on there, so it's got to be basically his top that needs to be bigger than he meets the requirements of the top. He's that, see, that's a 10 centimeter edge there, so he's at well over the 9.5, I think it is. And then he also meets the, uh, he's also from, from the tail down, he's also bigger than uh, the 11.9 I think it is, so. He meets the size requirements and he'll make a good breakfast slash lunch. I don't know what time it is now. So I think we'll make him, we'll eat the tail first up and then maybe we'll uh, make a nice uh, lobster bisque or a little uh, lobster soup. It's a pity, uh, you can see, it gets good just around the corners of each one of each side of the island but that's pretty much where the green zone starts so I can't go any further around either so uh, unfortunately this area is a little bit rubbly and dead in close and as you get further out it gets a bit misty and murky so uh, we'll start on the points next time and we'll just work the points before I can't go any further I think that will save a lot of energy because I wasted a lot of energy in the middle there but anyway let's go back to camp and cook this guy up They've already been put out of his misery. I did that back of the rocks. But we'll finish the job by cutting this whole head in half. Okay, so there's the tail. That's the part I'm gonna eat now. We'll keep all of these bits and then that'll all go in the soup. Unfortunately, we lost a few uh, legs on the when we were getting him out, but all of this will make the most delicious, um, like soup or stock. We'll keep all of these little bits, and we'll even after we've um, even the legs here, even keep the shell of his. Once I've, I'll cut this in half. We'll half this, and then we'll even keep the shells after we've cooked that off, and it'll give it even more flavour after it's cooked. So. Straight down the center. And we 
just break this in half. Beautiful. So even though he wasn't that huge, it's actually a surprisingly large amount of meat and that will make for some really good eating. And then this will make such a nice soup later on. So we won't waste any. Pop those in, we'll go and fry up. Look at that pot. That's like one pot full of deliciousness right there. Okay. okay, take you two. We'll put these a bit on this one just so nothing gets in. You know what? We might put the chopping board on this one so nothing gets in. Yeah, something. I think an ant just bit me on my leg. Bugger! And then we'll take this so we can just pop that on top so we can steam it up a little bit. And maybe we'll take this. Just we've got everything we need and we might walk around the other side of the island. We don't need a lot because I'm just going to do these super, super plain. Maybe a little bit of water just so we can... Oh, you know what? We'll use the wine. That'll do. And that'll give it a little extra flavour. Alright. Let's go. Forgot everything? I think so. Let's take that. It's always good to have a rag. <laughs> Sit up on my sand dune and cook. A little, there's gusts of wind, but it's not too bad. There we go. Oh, sun. What do you know? There's nothing overly fancy about what we're going to do. We're literally just going to cook them up, steam them a little bit. Oh, stuck. We won't need to do much of these to make them taste delicious. Pretty much just gonna get some liquid and oil in here. This is actually garlic infused oil. I bought garlic infused oil because it's the smallest bottle I could find. All the other bottles in the shop, shop that I was at were huge. <laughs> so I thought, oh, well, I'll get the garlic infused. Garlic goes well with just about everything. So put a good dash of oil in there. We don't want it sticking too much to the bottom. And we'll put a decent amount of wine in there as well. Because we wanted to steam as much as just fry off. Bit of salt and pepper on there. So we're getting toasty here. We want a lot of that to evaporate eventually. Let's hold on to the pan just in case it tips. We'll do this side first. Once a bit more of that liquid is evaporating. We'll flip them over and do the other side. Look at that. That is a fancy meal right there. Let's see how we're going. Oh my god, look. Yeah, we might flip those. Wow. I might put this back in the holder so I can hold the handles just in case I tip it because I'd be devastated. Oh, how good does that look? Sitting in there like that. Wow. Can't even it smells good. Yum. So we'll turn the gas off for now. We'll even use that the rest of that juice and a bit of wine and oil in the bottom. We'll put that in the uh, in the fish soup or fish stock. Cool down a little bit. Oh, it's still pretty hot actually, but we're going to go for it. I can't wait. Those bits at the end, uh, they're just asking for it, so let's do it. Geez, they smell good. You can smell that wine and the garlic. <laughs> Mate, I can't explain how good, especially after all the work of putting in to try and catch them and swimming around and getting cold and freezing and worrying if I'm going to catch anything at all. Oh, yum.
Well, we've eaten, we've had a little rest. <laughs> so I guess uh, we might as well go for a fish for something to do. And I've left my tackle back up here. Let me go get it. <laughs> the sun's a little lower. It's amazing how quick the days go when you're just resting up. All right, where are we going? To this point, I think. We'll just cast off this point. Where the water got a bit deeper, it looked like there could be anything. Coral trout. Can't even... I can imagine a mackerel or something else swimming past through these channels in between each island. Just a bit further out. So we'll put something heavier on and we'll cast out and see what happens. How cool is all this old, uh, all these old tree stumps? They're really cool. Geez, there must have been some trees. Must have really got washed away. This whole section must have been just like the dunes back there. And they've all just got knocked down and swept. Must have been a big storm. Hooey, it is a little bit windier here. This looks all right. On the map, literally the green zones just starts just there. So I don't dare go anywhere near that sort of section or further. So here or that way, <laughs> I'll have a couple of cars and we'll see what we come across. What are we gonna put on? What have we got? Just bought a couple of random things. Oh, you know what, this shimmer shad probably has the the most chance of getting something, I guess, because we can let that sink a bit. The wind definitely has dropped a little bit, though, I'd say. It's definitely getting better rather than worse. It'll be interesting to see what tomorrow brings, because uh, if the weather doesn't keep improving, it's going to be a terrible ride home. Oh, we have the tag. Okay, let's give it a crack. We'll let her sink because that's where those coral trout are going to be Ooh, locked up, huh? Nah, let's give up on this and uh, go and cook some soup. Doesn't look like the fishing's gonna happen, unfortunately. That's all right though, we've already got food. All right, let's bring this down here. Might do it down near the rocks. That way it might take the uh, mosquitoes a little longer to find me. Now that the wind has died down and the um, and the sun is starting to get lower. I think it'll be, it'll be on. <laughs> They'll be after me. Where can we do this? Let's uh, put the tub down here. And we can use this as a little workstation. That way I don't have to lean down too much. Just get that other stuff and we'll get down here and start cooking. Pop that water somewhere. Should be fine there. Nice. So what we've got to do first is, I guess we've got to boil it away. So we'll need some water. We're just going to wing this. It's quite a lot of water, but someone will evaporate. Might as well put the rest of the wine in as well. I think this wine bottle must have had a leak or something, because it seems to have been emptied very quickly for some reason. Um, what else have we got in here? What was the plan? So we'll do onions. Well, we'll get this on the boil first. And then we'll, uh, once it's going, it'll be, maybe we do this boiling down here though. So it's out of the wind and it doesn't tip over. Oh, look, the mosquitoes have found me already. Look, might have to put some spray on. Because this pot's pretty big and it'll tip over. Woo, flamage. We pretty much just need to crank this. Okay, make sure it's nice and balanced. We don't want to lose this. Let's uh, put some spray on. We don't want a repeat of last trip. 
Not that it really works that much. Get the lid on. Oop, almost tipped it. And just wait for that to boil. Let's move this handle out so we can grab it without burning it later. All right, boil away, my friend. We'll add some extra bits and pieces to it, though, while we're doing that. Put some salt in. A generous amount of salt, obviously, at this stage, because we're... Because we're going to turn this into a soup. And we'll throw a couple of... I actually bought some peppercorns. Now we'll get chopping all our other ingredients up. So what we'll do is we'll squeeze these in. Squeeze it in. And then just leave the peel in there as well to give it a bit of a rindy taste. To get that lemon all the way through it. We'll start with some potatoes that'll have to go in early. And then what we'll have to do, once this is boiling away, we'll leave that for about oh, 20 minutes. And then we'll saute off some other things. Once we've, really, it'd be much easier if I had two burners, but I don't. But anyway, we'll saute off some uh, vegetables and other bits and pieces, and then we'll mix it all together and let it cook even longer. This we can we're going to use uh, this pan here to sort all this stuff off. So we'll just chuck them in there. How are we going here? Very nice. Mmm, yum. That smells really good. A little bit of starch. And we'll get this in now because when these break down, they'll help thicken the soup. I did bring a little, I put a little bit of flour in as well. I've got corn flour, so we won't need much, but we'll add that at the end. Good enough. Look at that. The smell, it smells so good. I know I always say everything's so good, but I, I guess I just like food, huh? <laughs> and it really does smell good. Go away, mosquitoes. God, as soon as I try and do something finicky, it's like they know. So they know I can't get them. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. I'll get you in a sec. Okay, put the potatoes in because that'll need more time to cook. And we want that to sort of go soft and thicken up the sauce a little bit. Make sure they're all in. And we'll just keep you boiling. Oh wow, that is really looking good. Uh, where's my tongs? Okay, we might just put the lid on there and let it sit. It'll keep cooking away. Where can we put it? That's safe, somewhere safe. That looks safe. Stay there. And we'll get these straight on. Okay, don't forget to just keep adding seasoning to everything we're doing. I think our gas can's empty. That's why I was going so slow. It's just out the bottom dregs. Come on. Yes, yeah, feels light. Luckily, I uh, brought a spare because I had a feeling that would run out. Surprising how long these things last, though. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's going on straight. There we go. All right. Yes, that sounds a bit more like it. Now we're cooking. This is what I should have been doing. It's like, man, it's taking forever. <laughs> what a place to cook, huh? Look at it. Just at sunset. Okay, let's say they're about ready. And we'll put this pot back on carefully. Get that boiling again. I can 
feel that wind picking up again. Shouldn't be. All right, add the tomatoes. Add all our veggies, round off. I'll get that cooking away. And then we might have to, we might remove some of the shells. We'll get rid of this one. Because we're running out of space. We'll leave the heads in. Because the heads have got the most maximum flavor. There we go. Now we just let that sit for a while and cook down. Put the lid back on. You know what? Put just a little bit of that sugar I was talking about. There's plenty. Yeah, we'll let that cook for a bit and then we'll check it and see if we need to season it a bit more. Okay, just gonna add a little bit of corn flour. A little, little bit. Oh. The trick with corn flour is to dissolve it in cold water before it's you put it in hot, otherwise you can get that uh, clumping. We don't want clumps. I actually just got a bit of seawater. Add a little bit of seawater to the mix. And we're just sticking it up just a little bit. Looks like everything else is getting there now. A little bit more. And then we're gonna be ready to eat. We're just gonna make it before this gets too dark as well. We'll give that another few minutes to boil and then we'll eat. Unfortunately, we've left our run a little late and the mosquitoes are all over me. But that is going to be delicious. I'll try some if I can, if I can bear to put this down for a sec while I kill some mosquitoes. <laughs> oh God. Right, turn that off. So, yeah. Fish soup is ready. It's a pity there's so many mosquitoes. Like, look at that. Look how many there are on my arms. Oh, get them, get them. Man, I might have to go and eat in the tent. But uh, let's try a little bit while we've got a chance before we run away. Mmm, that's really good. So nice not to waste. Oh my god, there's so many mosquitoes. So nice to not waste the um, the heads and get a really delicious flavor out of it. So. I'm going to run up to the tent, get away from these mosquitoes, but uh, yeah, quick back up. <laughs> man, look, oh, there's still one or two that got in, but uh, man, I can relax now. It's uh, so hard to concentrate when there's that many all over you. Anyway, let's enjoy dinner. It actually is, is that a mosquito in there? Better not be. My God, they're everywhere. Anyway. I'm gonna really enjoy this. <laughs> Thank God for the hoochie. I'll try and suck some of the meat and bits and pieces out of there. I'm sure there's some in there. I'll crack those open soon, but yeah, look at that. Mmm. My God, it's so good. It really is that good. I know I say that about every meal I make, but if you like seafood and making the most of it, oh, give it a go. Got such a nice lobster flavor as well. Mmm. That's really good. Yum. Catch you on the next vid. <laughs> good night.